I would want to do the ultimate range test, I would have to start here, which is uh, basically uh, on top of the mountain. But the thing is, I have a view on my village. And I'm going to zoom in with this camera. And my house is out here. Somewhere. So the thing is, from here, basically I have a line of sight to the terrace of my apartment. So maybe I can just fly it out there and land it on the terrace. What about that? Well, first I'm going to have a look at Google, Google Earth, and see what the distance is and everything. But it's an option. Another day and another like investigation if I can do the ultimate range test. Um, last time I was on that position over there and I thought maybe this would be a good lo location. I looked at Google Earth. You can better see a couple of peaks over there and that makes a lot of sense because it will make me able to have like an emergency landing if something fails. I'm zooming in and we got this hilltop but there's a lot of trees. There's some open space over there. I can land there. Then we have this one. There's a road and there's a house. So I think I will be able to land there. Then we're gonna look up and we got the village over here and as you can see there are three green zones and my house is at the first zone it's over here that is my house there is a, a brown area and that's like um, no man's land if I cannot land on the terrace I can land over there so that's the plan I will get my uh, transmitter and I have a partner in crime over there and she will turn on the phantom. The phantom is over there, I have the transmitter over here and um, all we're going to do is I'm going to test if I can get signal. It's like 8 kilometers and if I can get signal that's good because it means I can do the ultimate range test fly from here land on my terrace um, if I get a weak signal I'll have to think about what I'm gonna do if I've got a good signal I might even gonna try to launch the vehicle and land it again I'm not gonna fly around a lot and if I can do that I can do the ultimate test too. So I will be back in a minute with my transmitter. I got my transmitter. I have to point it straight to there. I have to keep it a little bit unnatural, I think. But that's how I will get the best um, chance of making a connection. And then I have to make a phone call that she can turn it on. All right, we kind of wait and see what we get. The thing is, sometimes you don't get a connection even when the aircraft is standing here. So failure right now doesn't even mean it cannot connect at this distance. That might be whatever problem.
I got connection. Seriously. But I had to go up. I had to be higher. Like this. War, it says warming up. Seriously. Wow. I got connection over here. <laughs> it's like eight kilometers and I can see the table where it's standing on. Oh my word. Let's see how the signal will be if I have it lower. It's still good. I'll I'll record. It start yeah, it starts recording. <laughs> oh boy. That is just crazy. I, I need my goggles if I want to start and land. So I'm going to be back in a minute. So here is going to be an incredible test. I'm going to try to launch and land the Phantom 4 at 8 kilometers distance. I don't think this has been done before. So this is a one of a kind experiment. Wow, I got very clear signal. You can even straighten the horizon like this, I think. What, what are we gonna do? This is good too. I got three, I got four. Launch it. Oh my word. It, it is launched. I'm gonna go up higher. Up, up higher. I'm gonna put the camera down uh, like this. I'm still moving. Okay, I'm gonna go back a little bit and I'm gonna go to the left a little bit. Backward and now I wanna land. Wow, I freaking land. That was uh I was a little bit nervous, but it was very successful. Now I have two bad signal. The, the quality is lost because it's down the terrace. But that's okay, you know, as long as I'm above it, I get a very good signal. I think I don't even have to stand because it will be a lot higher when it comes up flying. Then I can safely land and then the quality gets bad, but it's okay because it already landed. So this gives me a lot of confidence that I can fly the Phantom from here to over there. There's one more thing I'm worried about and that I have to investigate. And that is, if I will fly down, when it's halfway, um, the software will say like, okay, you know, I'm gonna return home because I will not have enough battery. And I have to be absolutely sure that I can cancel this and continue because otherwise it will just come back and return and I cannot do this. So that's the next thing that I have to investigate.